Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. Uh, this is the Adventure Jungle Zoo, my uh, my sandbox project. Every animal in this zoo is from the tr the tropical biome, with the single exception of the lions. But that's because you know zoos need lions. Anyway, last episode we uh, finished work on this fantastic tiger habitat. Today we're going to work on jaguars and I'm gonna put them right in here so without further ado let's get started shall we now like the last time I'm going to actually work on uh, the terrain a bit I'm gonna bring this up to four meters I hate that my microphone cord keeps getting hung up Okay, I'm going to take this up to four meters. Okay. That's going to be four meters. Yes. Okay, that's four meters. I'm going to take this over here. That's also four meters. And then we'll take it over here. And do that. And that's also four meters. Now, whoops, I doubled it. Okay, well, that's all right. So, now. Let's drop this to six, six meters, or maybe eight. I'm going to drop this to eight meters. Hold on just a second. I'm going to pause this while I deal with what is undoubtedly the lemur habitat, despite the fact that these guys are supposed to be keeping up with it. Why are these guys not keeping up with it? Hold on. You know what? I know. I know what to do. Okay, hi there. You're Allie Lorenzo. What are you doing right now? Why hasn't that? Yeah, exactly. Okay, your job is to do nothing but clean that habitat. Your job is to do nothing but clean that habitat. And lastly, your job is to do nothing but feed the habitat. Okay? Now, my question is, where are you guys, and why are you not... Oh, I see. You see? Yeah, it's like, oh, no, we got to feed them first. Yeah, well, not anymore. Now your job is to freaking clean that habitat. What is so hard? Okay. I have no idea. Just so you know, I've got no idea why it's so hard for them to clean the habitat, but apparently they do. So we're back here working on the uh, jaguar exhibit. And what I want to do is I want to lower this a bit. Size-wise to about that, okay? And I'm going to bring this down here. All right.
We're going to do this. Like that. Because what I want to do now is I want to... Kind of extend this. Let's smooth this out right here. Um, and that'll make it easier to bring this path, this path, which I'm going to increase to six meters wide, um, down this way. work on this path a little. Six meters. Yeah, all right. It's a little wobbly, but you know what? What's a little wobble between friends, right? Now, then what I want to do is I want to do this. So, widen this out a little. Um, we're going to do this and then bring the path down and across so that's kind of on multiple levels, you see? just make all this smooth and in that way we can bring the path around like this and smooth it out some more And uh, I'm just going to bring the path across the front like this. And what we'll do, bring it up here. And we'll reconnect it over here somewhere. Like that. All right, now let's work on the uh, barriers. As usual, I'm gonna start with the null barrier so I can tell generally what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna put it, all that good stuff. So. Let's bring this back here. 
then we'll just run it this way. And then we'll bring that back to, you know, we'll just connect it up there. Okay, so let's get the train out because what I want is to flatten this out too. It's right here. So what we're going to do is precisely what I did earlier. We're going to build all this. But you know what? I want to keep some of it. So let's bring this back. Okay, but I'm going to smooth this part out. I'm going to smooth this part out. But this part, it gets to stay. No, no. Still want that, but I want it to be, you know what? I know. Uh, I want it to be sharp. Sharp, 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 sharp. Okay, so we have our basic barrier. First things first. Um, we're going to do another series of waterfalls. Um, this one is going to be slightly easier because we're basically doing this much. Okay, we're going to put one there and we're going to put one there and then we're going to move these rocks back slightly like this. Okay. Now, that does mean I have to uh, move a couple of rocks away from the uh, walk, but you know that's fine. I'll do that. That's not a problem. There we go. We'll do that, and this one move down that way, and this one move down that way, and this one moves down that way. So, here we go. We have another set of, uh, you know, another waterfall here. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to uh, make a copy and bring it all the way out then shift it all the way to the end like this. And then I'm going to lower it slightly like that. All right. Um, let's readjust it just a touch. So it's here and that's fine. Now I'm going to copy this one rock and have it move back to cover. Oh, I did not want that to happen. Hold on a second. I wanted to copy it, not, not move it. There we go. So, all right. And then we're going to do the same thing over here where basically we just grab these rocks and make a copy and bring it out like that and down down <laughs> like so we're gonna have to make two copies because this needs to come up some all right and i'm going to make a copy of this rock here that one or maybe just move it yeah there we go we'll just move it like so now um I'm going to make a copy, but I'm not going to be, what I want is kind of like that shape. So let's bring it in like so. So here we have our waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls, kids. Stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to. Yes, that's a, a song reference, so. Special underwater bubbles? No. Okay. Let's turn off the blueprints and get the waterfall bottom. Waterfall murky bottom. That'll work. 
Yeah, okay, so let's go back to terrain because we're going to do very a very small amount of, uh, uh, what you call it, terraforming here. Not much. And then we'll just catch it even, just like this. Bring it all the way out. Bring it all the way out. Bring it all the way out. Because what I want is a big lake that narrows into what's effectively a river. All right. We'll bring that out. So, yeah, it's obstructed by that, but that's okay. What we can do is we can get some rocks. Um, also, <laughs> watch this. What we'll do is we will do that. Okay? We'll kick it back just a touch. Just a touch. Now, that should be enough. That really should be enough. So let's click that into place. Oh, come on. You're going to give me this, this kind of trouble? Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. If that's what you want, that's what you want. We will make it deeper. Just so the rules of construction are followed. So. Oh, come on. Why not? Why not? Why is that not working? <clears throat> it ought to work. It ought to be working. I swear, guys, it ought to be working. Uh, biome tropical. I need some rocks. Blueprints off. And... But you know what? You know what I always say when something doesn't work, right? If something doesn't work, try something else. So we're going to try something else. I hate you. I hate you. All right. I know there's a way to do this. I'm just doing it wrong. I know there's a way to do this. I'm just doing it wrong. Okay, how should I do this? I know what I want to do, and what I'd want to do is a second waterfall here.
that's not working either. Okay, well, that didn't work, so let's do this. I'm going to get this, guys. I'm really, I, I am. I promise. I will not rest until I have figured out the answer. that perimeter. There we go. Let me see if this works. No, it won't work either. Holy moly. Really, it's just not going to work, huh? All right, all right. Well, I haven't given up because this is like something I actually want to do, something I want to do with my with, with my habitat is have a jaguar lake that has a bit of a, a river with a waterfall in it. And for that, it needs to be able to have water. Well, let me see. What if I get rid of this? Okay, I'll get rid of the rocks. Why is that obscured? Why is that obscured? Why is it obstructed? This is a water tank fucking... Damn it. Excuse my language, folks. I'm just a little frustrated right now. You know, what's the guy got to do here? No, still no. Still no good. All right, so. This is supposed to be watertight, guys. It's supposed to be watertight. Can you believe this crap? <laughs> it is. It's supposed to be watertight. What the heck is going on with this supposedly watertight uh, uh, piece of glass?
Okay, well, I will do what I can with what I got, right? Um, all right, let's let's try. Let's see, rapids, rapids, rapids. Water jet, water jet. Fountain jet. All right. Let's unpause so I can see what this effect is actually looks like. You know what we can make do? We can do this. We have the technology. We'll bring that around. All right. It looks a little ridiculous, but not that bad, so it should be okay. Now, you get this thing. And we will move it right down here. Okay. All right, and we'll do that. So, okay, let's get some rocks in here. Um, I know I, I went silent there for a little bit. I apologize about that. Um, you know, it's uh, it's been a bit of a day. Um. I don't know if, if I've ever told anybody, but one of the things I have, one of my, my many medical problems is that I have aggressive arthritis. And, um, you know, it's, it's systematic and it's aggressive. Now, systematic means that I have it in every single one of my major joints, all of them. Knees, shoulders, hips, uh, ankles, elbows, wrists. Aggressive means that it never turns off. I'm always in pain. Always. So when the weather shifts, we have a cold front coming in. Now, granted, we're, I'm talking about a cold front for Florida standards, not necessarily for like, you know, Europe or northern, you know, or, or somewhere up north in, in North America. But for Florida, when it gets cold, um, I start really feeling the cold. I start really feeling my arthritis. It, it gets horrible, I tell you. Just, you know, nasty, painful. And that was my day today because it was rainy for one thing, and that aggravates my arthritis. And then it was, uh, it was cold, you know, and it got colder. And again, this is cold for Florida, so it's not 
you know, um, not exactly cold for the rest of the country. But, uh, you know, it was cold enough. Absolutely cold enough. And it was cold enough to make me feel awful. All right. Yeah, that's that, you know, throw in some plants. We get some plants in here and it'll actually start looking better. Uh, this has the makings of a fine jaguar habitat. Now, let's look at the barriers real quick. What I want to do, okay, this I'm going to stretch back this way, and this one I'm going to split to. And then I'm going to walk it over here just a touch. Just a touch. Because I'm going to put the entrance right there. Now, uh, okay, in that case, we'll just keep that. Now, uh, something else I wanted to do, and that is this. Um, let me look at the Jaguar as far as construction standards are concerned. Jaguar, what do we need? We need Okay, grade three climb proof, 10 feet. All right. I think I'm, it's, we're gonna have plenty of swimming and we will do climbing. And I bet you it's gonna be uh, the right size too. Okay. So other than, you know, being in intense pain the entire day, I had a pretty good day today. Um, I slept most of it. You know, got, got a couple of other video uh, video pieces done. Mostly, um, you know, I got an... Whoops, hello. You know, I got uh, some Dragon Age out, and I'm liking the Dragon Age playthrough. And I... Uh, The hell? Why is that? I wonder why that doesn't match up. I really do. I wonder why that doesn't match up. Oh well. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, I got some Dragon Age out, I got some uh, Cyberpunk out, that was fun. Um, you know, it, it's a it's a fun game, they're both fun games. I've never played Dragon Age as, as I repeatedly say, uh, and I'm, I'm just having a good time with it. Alright, what do I want to do here? Okay, first I'm going to back this off and I'm going to replace it. No, replace it with one of these. Um, let's see what other thing I did. Oh yeah, uh, me and Nathan. Nathan's my brother. I think I've mentioned him in, the, in various other episodes before. Me and Nathan ended up watching the Snyder cut of the Justice League film, and holy cow! Is it vastly an improvement to the point that I, I really, you know, I feel like punching somebody in the teeth. Um, yeah, no, you know, the, the, I don't want to name any names, but their initials are JW, and they were handed, um, you know, for whatever reason, Warner Brothers didn't trust Zack Snyder to make a Justice League film. They didn't like his cut of the film. Well, his cut of the film, I can tell you, having watched it, was brilliant and was a much superior movie. Was it The Avengers? No. And, of course, that's the problem. Warner Brothers wanted The Avengers. Well, it wasn't The Avengers. It wasn't. It just wasn't. It wasn't ever going to be The Avengers either. Um, 
because Warner Brothers, I, I get the feeling sometimes that Warner Brothers doesn't know how to handle superheroes. Uh.